were trying to marry their own worlds. And then we're only in San Francisco on the stage for another two, three days. And then it's showtime, baby. <laughs> He's smiling. <laughs> was, that, was that the first time you watched the full thing? Uh... Full thing hard out from top till there. Yeah. And it gave me chills. One of the difficulties this year was the fact that we discovered Neon Strata as the centerpiece of the show pretty late in the game. It wasn't until July that we really started working with Riot Music to create a track. We're in talks with 88 Rising about this track, and we assumed that maybe some of their up-and-coming artists would be interested in working with us on it. But they instantly said, Jackson wants this one, and my heart skipped a beat. When I first found out I was working with Jackson Wang, I knew I had to step my game up. We built out a choreography section in the end of Act Two to just be with the dancers. And it's this insane drum beat with this crazy guitar solo ending Jackson's moment. Today in rehearsal, Jackson was like, wait, I want to do that. And he learned it in 20 seconds and now he's fully in the dance breakdown. And the fact that he just threw himself in it was like so awesome. <laughs> so you're here. Mm -hmm. Boom, go. Yes, like, I want to make this. Let you push. Let me leave. Okay. I know yeah, you're not used you to that. Push. Oh. <laughs> no, it is. <laughs> yes. Well, you caught that on camera. <laughs> not used to it. <laughs> We are in the Chase Center. The stage has been built. I feel like the stress is really starting to set in. In LA, we had the illusion of time. It felt like we could get everything dialed in, but now that illusion has been shattered because the clock is ticking. Today, we had always planned on working through each act of the opening ceremony. We started with Neon Strata this morning with Jackson. The timing is really, really tight. I think our review is we know everything that we need to fix, but I wouldn't say we necessarily saw it work. So that means we'll be working through notes pretty late tonight. Bone Skewer is one of those things where sometimes I wish we weren't so ambitious. I wish we could just like give ourselves the easy out, but we don't. With Bone Skewer, we tried a few different ways to get it right in LA. Um, a few different choreographs, a few different movement ways. We had to switch it up. We, we basically flipped the choreography so that Jackson is on the receiving end of the skewer now, aided by some trickers who are helping him hold a pose. I think it's landing now, but this one has been so tricky. One stumble could break the bone skewer.